Hi, this is Jeevan. Today I am going to show you how to consume Documentum RESTful services from your third party client applications. Your third party client applications may be developed in either Java or .NET or PHP like etc. So today's demo, my sample application developed in Java that is my client side application and we are consuming Documentum RESTful services from there. And also I will show you how to test RESTful services using Postman. So in future, like in maybe later sessions, I am going to create full demo on RESTful services where you can consume like operations like uh, create documents, check out documents, check in documents and like search the documents like using simple search or advanced search or full text search and start the workflows and uh, complete the tasks, workflow tasks. But in this demo, I am going to show only one of the service like a bulk upload. So we, uh, from our third party application, so we are consuming the service, Documentum RESTful service to upload the documents. This is what we are going to show now. So hope you already know uh, knowledge on RESTful and uh, the, uh, the fundamentals about RESTful and Documentum RESTful services also. So just high level description. So client browser is so where the client user will access their application, their third party application. So web server, where their third party application deployed in the web server. So from there, they'll just uh, integrate our, they consume our RESTful service from their application server. So that piece of code, uh, I'll show you that. So from there, the connection goes to the RESTful server. So Documentum RESTful server will be deployed over there. So from there, the, uh, whatever the request go to the content server to retrieve whatever you requested for. So the base URL we are using today in demo, the base URL is documents upload. So this is a base URL for the document upload. So RESTful application slash repository slash your repository name followed by folder, folder, folder ID and documents. This is the URI we are going to use. In the consumer side, that means the third party application, if they are developed in Java, so you can write a, some uh, code like this. Once you establish the connection, use the post post method because we are just posting the content into the server application uh, the content server so content type should be the multi part uh, yeah and you can pass up your uh, whatever your custom properties using json input so in the json format uh, currently i am using instead of xml i am passing into the json format so you can when you are uploading the documents you can you can also add your custom properties to the document. So here I launched uh, two browsers. One browser I'll show from the third party client application, one browser XCP application, whether after documents are uploaded, whether it's successfully uploaded into XCP or, or Documentum or not. So this is my, I have designed in the Java application. So I'll also open right side, so XCP application. So first I'll, I'm trying to upload the bulk upload using RESTful. This is authentication is required. So in full demo, so we'll create a login page. So from there, you don't need to create every time, you don't need to enter every time. So I'm going to select the document type, document, um, document type, this is my document type. And also this is one, Remarks is one of the custom attribute. So I'm just adding some content here. So the browse button, you can select the multi-select. I'm going to select four files so before this uh, click on upload I'll show you from the application make sure the folder first I will show you in the folder oh, 
or you can show from the DA also. I would just I'm using the XCP application here. So I'll go to repository. I'll expand. This is a folder where I'm going to upload the documents. Now it is, it looks like it's empty. So I click on upload. So once it is uploaded, you can see the success message. So it's quickly uploaded all the documents. So if you go and see in the repository, See, now you can see the four documents. We have uploaded four documents. Now you can see the all the four documents. And also we set it the custom property. So custom property also set it for this document. You can see in the right click properties also. So this is my custom property. I'm setting document name as same as what you imported. Even you can see the content. Yeah, this is uh, how the restful communication will work with the documentum repository. Thanks for watching this video. Maybe in later videos, I'll show you full demos. Thank you.